During Lent, it is appropriate to reflect on how we live out our Christian life and how we share the story, which is the theme for today. But perhaps this is not just about sharing the Gospel story, but also living it. Living it, you might say, is a little bit more challenging. During my time with the Sisters of St Andrew, a Catholic community, I found that they were more focused on living the Gospel story than talking about it, something that fascinated me. But how can we live the Gospel story, model it, letting the story transform us? Is it possible? Over the years, I have been pondering how we can be transformed by the Gospel story, and I would like to share two thoughts. First, the Gospel story itself. The Gospel story can be studied, and that's great, but perhaps more appropriate for what we're talking about is to pray it. In the Christian tradition, there are two ways of praying with the Bible, Lectio Divina, Holy Reading, and Imaginative Prayer. If you are interested in finding out more about these ways of praying, you can find these leaflets on the Rochester Diocese website. Praying with the Bible, letting the story speak into our story and asking ourselves, what would Jesus do over time can transform our attitudes, our thoughts and our actions. Secondly, discernment. Originally, the word means sifting through. Sifting through our experience to see what in our experience is of God. This year, with lockdown and isolation, have limited our experiences. This has made the few experiences we have had more vivid. The excitement of seeing the sun or going out for a walk. And perhaps that is not a bad thing, as we can start to see more clearly and sift through what is life-giving and what is destructive in our experience? An important question in discernment. And further ask ourselves, what leads to the greater love of God, my neighbour and myself? And what leads me away from a greater love of God, my neighbour and myself? These questions pondered over time, can give clarity. So, praying with the Gospel story and pondering sifting through our experiences over time can help us to live the story in the midst of a pandemic and soon, we hope, a more normal life. And you might find yourself sharing the story, not because you planned to, but because the Spirit prompted you to. 